Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I set up my heat vision cameras, the image uh, details such as brightness, contrast, and more specifically, the wide dynamic range. All right, so I'm going to now demonstrate what I do to adjust these settings. I log into my NVR. Then I have all my cameras listed on the left hand side. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is to deal with this problem. Uh, let's look at this camera over here. If you look at this camera, you can see there, if you look at the view of this camera, you can see there are dark patches in the cam, in the, in the view. Now, yes, the light in this room is not on. There is some natural light coming in here, but we should still be able to see these areas here. Then, if I look at this camera over here, outdoors, there are dark spots over here, over here. So, I'm going to demonstrate how I make changes to these settings. And I'm also going to demonstrate using two different Hick Vision cameras. All right, starting with the Let's start with this with this one. This is the most effective. What I need to do is I need to see what number camera is that in my list. Okay, it's the last camera. So I go to the configurations tab. I look for camera management, IP camera, and then I have all the cameras which are connected to my NVR. Now I can see that the IP address for the camera in question is 201. So what I need to do is to log in to camera 201. Right, so uh, what would normally happen, I'll just demonstrate I was already logged in. You go to, you put in the IP address, which is 10.0.0.201. You get the login page. The default username is admin. The default IP address is 1, 2, 3, I mean, the default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then it shows you the mainstream or the substream of what the camera is viewing. You hit, you select the configurations tab. Then there are some options here system network video audio image security what we're looking at is image now on the right hand side are these settings you can change the brightness there is a little bit of a delay there the brightness has changed now the one that's most of, in of most interest to me is wide dynamic range if i enable it then I'll maybe increase this value to say 30. Now look at the change now. So what I'll do is I will log into that camera in the, in the view and I will make the changes so that you can see the before and after. That is after. Now I'm going to switch the wide dynamic range off. It's quite a considerable effect. Now, the thing is, one has to remember that when you switch the light on, you don't want to have the picture washed out. So if you enable it, just be careful of don't go overboard because say I set it to 60 now. It's now set to 60. It literally looks like there is a light shining in this, in this room. But what happens is when I do switch on the light, the white start to get washed out. So you've got to find the balance between overcompensating and undercompensating. I find a wide dynamic range of 30 is more than enough. So now in this area here, we can see the dark spots. If I switch it off, you can see what a difference. Wow. Okay. I just put it back on. All right, so that's that camera setup. Now let's look at the other one I had, which is, I call it my play area. So I want to start viewing these areas a bit more clearly because they're getting a little bit um, too dark here. I can't see what's going on. And what's most important is that during the day, there is different brightnesses and that also affects the layout of the picture. If it's a very bright day, you'll actually find that the camera compensates and you'll see the sun areas being a bit darker actually which makes these even darker so what are you what, what you do is you go to you find out what camera number it is okay it's fourth from the bottom i go to my configuration camera management i see fourth minutes fourth from the bottom so it is address 216 
So you log into the camera. I've already done just to save time. There's the settings. Now, this camera is the 2032, which is a bullet camera, a great camera. It is um, a 3 megapixel camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the wide dynamic range. There we go. Going back to the live view. We can now see in these dark areas. And what will happen, you see, it starts to get a bit washed out. But if the character, the subjects you want to view are have a dark skin, you will now still see them here. In this case, if they're children running around and I've got a, a school, then you'll still see them be able to differentiate. If a child gets hurt, you can see which child is uh, may or may not be injured. Right, now looking at another camera, this is a different model so I'm going to show this camera just for explanation purposes of a different model right this is my fourth camera in the line in the in the group I go to the camera management all right so it is IP address 209 so I'm going to look at number 209 There it is. Now, immediately you can see that this is a different camera. This is a higher range of the Hik Vision cameras. Still, you go to the configurations tabs. The only difference is that it's now grouped into settings. So you can go to the image adjustment. Now, this is the, the stock setting is 50 and 50. And this is what it looks like. Now what I found is on a very sunny day, or maybe if I park a white car here, the rest of the scene goes very, it goes quite dark. So you won't be able to see anything, say there or here, because a white car here will will fool the camera into to reducing the brightness. So in that case, I will then compensate by increasing the brightness to 60, and in this case, I'll reduce the contrast to 40. And this is what it looks like once those settings have taken effect. Now, this camera, the 2632, this is the best range of settings that I have found 60 and a 40 or 60 to 39. And then there is another setting somewhere here, in digital noise reduction on uh, noise reduction level. You can also set that. And that is um, how I set up my cameras to reduce the problem of very dark areas such as such as this problem where it gets dark in the corners. Right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy setting up your Hikvision cameras and uh, have a nice day.